Alright, uh, welcome back to part 2 about functions. Uh, we'll continue right where we left off. So we have this function called multiply, and what we're doing right now is just printing the variable, uh, or printing the result, uh, basically, straight off. But uh, a lot of times it will be handy to get that result back somehow to your actual program where your code is running and use it there. Um, so you can do this with uh, with functions. You can what you can do is you can do. Let's say we store the results of the variable times variable two, the answer of that. Um, and what you can do is say return result. And what happens now is the function will multiply these two numbers, store it in the result variable, and then all the way at the end when it's done, it will throw well, let's actually really explain this. It will just throw the result out, this variable, whatever's in this variable, it will chuck it out um, over here in your code. And what you can do is you can store that in a variable over here. So you can say some kind of variable, in this case we're going to call it answer, is equal to whatever the result of multiply three t three comma four is. And that result is what you're returning in the function here. So whatever you return is pooped out um, and you can store that in a variable. And then you can do whatever you like with that variable, you can print it if you like, which is I think something we're going to do. There we go. And the uh, same for the second time. There we go. And so then print that too. So let's save that. And ooh. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, I'm an idiot. Um, when printing variables, don't use parentheses, quotation marks, I should say. Um, because you're just printing a string when you do that. Whoops. Right, let's try that again. From the last video and this video, you can see how well prepared my videos are. <laughs> so there's the answers again, 12 and 3096. I, I usually just jump in and start explaining, and then I mess up sometimes I have to redo the whole video and sometimes I mess up a little bit and I can't be bothered to restart again. Um, so yeah, I think that's pretty much everything to do with functions. So you can call blocks of code multiple times throughout your program and it keeps your code nice and short because you don't have to write the code inside the function multiple times. You can give it variables or arguments um, for it to use during its doing of the function. And then whatever the result of the function is, you can also return that and uh, use that in your code or in your program to do whatever you need it to do. So, thanks for watching. I hope that clears things up a bit. Um, when we actually start programming Turtles, which will be very soon now, so we, we know, we're getting through the boring learning how to program stuff fairly quickly. Oh well, we're getting through it eventually. And it uh, won't be long until we actually start writing our first uh, turtle programs, which will be awesome. And once we start doing that, it will become more clear um, when you will use functions and in what situation, what situations they're most useful. So, um, hope to see you then, and thanks for watching once again. See you next time.